is a matter that the consumer affairs and health ministries are looking after, and I can assure you that there is no product in the market that exceeds any of their standards. By their standards. This is not an attempt just to incriminate whales as a bad guy. However, we cannot ignore the fishing effort has been decreasing. It, it's seriously hard to uh, take that PowerPoint demonstration seriously. I have to tell you that there is very strong evidence that whales are consuming huge quantities of fish that are also the target of fisheries. The government of Brazil wants to put on record that to us, it certainly amounts to what only can be described as biological nonsense. The Japanese literally control the world marketplace in fish. They have buyers in every major port in the world. They're catching their fish from an ever-depleting supply. And I think they have a real fear that they will run out of food. What more logical thing could they do than catch whales to replace them? International Whaling Commission is essentially killing coastal small type whaling communities like Taiji. This body should seriously consider the proposal that is before us. Dominica would like to compliment the Japanese delegation. We strongly support the proposal. Antiguan Barbuda supports this declaration in its entirety. Do we have any concern, any sympathy for the plight of the people of Japan? This is an opportunity to help Japan. We could help the Japanese cause and the people of Taiji. We therefore urge this IWC to grant their basic request for them to engage in whaling. And therefore, St. Kitts and Nevis support this proposal. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In my opinion, this has been sufficient enough time to allow for the replenishment of species, of certain species which were in decline and some others which were nearing extinction. There are several facets of the interest out of Antigua in whaling. First of all, the government is pr presently interested in the, in the Whaling Commission because the Japanese government is paying them to be interested. The Japanese government and their agencies go to small, bankrupt nations and offer them financial support, offer them whatever it takes, firstly to get them to join the IWC and then of course when they get here to vote for Japan. This is how whaling uh, in the 21st century works. What kind of whales pass through on here? We have um, I think the commission I, might I think there's some humpback whales that yes. pass through Antigua. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure of the details of the whales that pass through Antigua at this point in time, but there are whales that pass through our waters from time to time. I have seen only, my, my only interaction with whales are what I see on the television. It is so transparent to even the least perspicacious uh, onlooker that they have prostituted themselves um, for a few yen. The Japanese government pays our fees, our annual fees for participation in the International Whaling Commission. It has nothing to do with nutrition. It simply has to do with the fact that you voted for us, so let's give you something that your people can see that it was worth your while to sell your vote to us. Fisheries complexes. Interestingly, the fisheries complexes built by Japan have already gone into disuse because it has nothing to do with fishing. One neighbor got the goodies and every other neighbor wants a part of the goodies. Every island in the Eastern Caribbean, St. Kitts, Antigua, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, Grenada, Dominica, we all have the same goodies. In Dominica, we have a $22 million fisheries complex which is used for the local merchants to store imported chicken. It's very sad to see these beautiful islands in the Caribbean becoming neon-lit whorehouses for the Japanese. It really runs counter to logic why the Japanese continue to keep this dying whaling business going. Especially when you get the facts about the levels of mercury and other contaminants in the meat.
I visited Japan earlier this year, and I discovered that there was another peculiar reason for the Japanese position at the IWC. That this has not got to do with economics. It hasn't even got to do with politics. It really has to do with the, the remnants of a traditional notion of empire. They had had enough of the West telling them what to do and how to do it and when to do it. Well, you're not going to make us stop killing whales. There's some kind of misplaced nationalistic pride at work. It's an industry that is massively subsidised by Japanese taxpayers, and when you have those sorts of subsidies in place, you invite corruption. Thank <laughs> you.